Greetings, families. Welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If this is your first time, my name is Mamri, and you are very welcome. Thank you so much. This video is about uh, what is going on in Kenya. What did African leaders learn from this, or what are they learning from what is going on in Kenya? You know, Uganda has also took onto the screen uh, just a few majority or minority has taken onto the street in support of what is going on in Kenya and calling on the leaders to stop the corruption. To the parliament, we want to sanction the speaker. She must step down. We want a free, corrupt Uganda. We want a free, corrupt Uganda. The speaker of parliament, a little among us, must decide. We want a corrupt, free Uganda. We want a corrupt free Uganda. We are not demonstrating. We want a corrupt free Uganda. Yes. We want a corrupt free Uganda. Yes. We want a corrupt free Uganda. What have I done? What have I done? Where are you going? This is a local process. We move it. 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 Go back. 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 Go he has not been sleeping. I said it the other day that when you look at his face and his eyes, you can tell that he has not been sleeping. <laughs> not to know he has even confessed it, that he has not been sleeping. Yes, and it is right that he should not sleep. When your neighbor do not sleep, you will not sleep as well. And this is what is going on. This video is about the leadership in Africa, starting from Ghana. Ghana youths are also deciding, some of them are talking about to take on the street and do the same thing. But the reason why I'm having a feeling they cannot do it now is the president has few, you know, few months to go. And I think that's why Ghanaians are holding back. But whether they will do it or not, we we'll wait and see. The MP is warning the parliament to be very careful on decisions that they take in the parliament. And I said, great, this is good news if they can see and they have, you know, some of them, excuse me to say, have no conscience, but some do, many do. Like somebody like Mr. Sam George, many has conscience and they know that if they are not working for the people in future, it will come back and bite them. I want to say Gambia, my fellow Gambians, what are you doing? Are you okay? Why your president buy 100 cars just to use for one, two days to serve foreigners who has come for a summit in Gambia? What are you doing about it? Where are those cars distributed among the leaders or do they sell them? I want to say Guinea, Equatorial Guinea. I put a picture there. Look at how the vice president and the president, how they live their lives. It's pity. It's sad how human beings can accumulate that kind of wealth that doesn't even belong to them by the wealth of the country, why the country is crying for help. Yet, with that, they will still go and get IMF loan and they will give it to them, World Bank loan, and they will give it to them knowing well that those loans are not helping the people. They are giving it so they will take over the resources, so they will take over the country. Just like Kenya doesn't belong to Kenyans anymore, it belongs to IMF, just like Ghana belongs to Ghanaians anymore. It belongs to IMF and World Bank. When a bank 
can decide what a whole country can do and cannot do. What do you think about that country? All the leaders that are leading the country, the so-called democratic leaders that boast themselves, yet their people are suffering. It doesn't make sense. The time is up. As our sister said, I'll look for that video if I still have it, I'll play it. She said the time is up because of social media we will expose them all one by one. So if you are listening to me and you know them, which country you are, wherever you are, expose them if you are phone. If you can't name them, tell us and let's expose them. If they are ashamed, they will step down. And if they don't, what happened to Kenya will happen to them. Or in the Sahara will happen to them. It's about time. The whole world is saying that Africa is the future. Our resources is what they want. They need us. They need Africa. Yet, if you see the condition that some of these Africans are working in you 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 cry for them pollution sickness they know these resources the outcome they 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 build bridges and suck in them through the bridge through the trains when you look at some part of Africa where the train lines are that's where the resources are and you think they think about you they won't partnership. What kind of partnership is that? Yet your leaders have signed those agreements and they are living the lives of kings and queens. Their children are so happy. I hope and I hope that what is happening in Kenya is giving them nightmare. Proper nightmare that they will not sleep at night and they will change their mentality and they are doing because if they don't change it's spreading i'm telling you it is spreading like wildfire please let's listen to this uh, my brother's warning to ghana please and i'll be back thank you so much to mr. To mr speaker i thought for what we have seen on cnn and everything he would have taken the no, opportunity no, you hold on when you finish i'll give you the opportunity. the opportunity to brief the house on what he saw in Kenya, where Kenyan public are beating up members of parliament for passing bad laws. I'm not, I'm not I'm not have taken advantage to advise us as to how to pass good laws to avoid being beaten by the public. We should be worried. In fact, when I saw him running and the police were ushering him, I mean, I mean, mm. through yeah. a tunnel, yeah. through yeah. a tunnel to escape. It's a serious matter, Mr. Speaker. Serious. They are not joking. It is serious and they must think about it. Well, those corrupt leaders across the globe, they must think about what they are doing. It's about time to change their habit. No more talking. Just do the work. That's what the people need. Stop talking and do the work. Show them what you are doing. So when the time comes, they can point a finger and say, okay, this is what you have done. With the money you borrow, the interest rate that you are paying, that you can't pay, that IMF and World Bank has to take the country and decide. Let's go to those who have been selling our land. They are selling African land secretly to Arab leaders and throughout the world in the name of climate change. They are selling African land. If you haven't watched that video yet, is on the channel. I'll link it on the comment section. Listen to it yourself. Don't don't listen to me if you don't believe me. They are selling. Some are selling quarter of the whole country, ten percent, twenty percent of the entire country to foreigners. And when the time can the poor parlor and the citizens, well, you don't have right to enter here. What will you do? Because it has happened before. And even those came by force, now you are selling it to them. So you have no right. They have the paperwork to prove it that your president sold your country to them. What are we doing to ourselves and our future children? African leaders, this video is for you.
wake up because they are coming for you they are coming for you it's not easy because even though western countries is tough as africa they get benefit which africa country get benefit i don't know please leave a comment if your country in africa you get benefit they get benefit even if it is tough at least you know at the end of the month you get a hundred dollar hundred pound to go to grocery and manage yourself africa is not there yes it is tough everywhere what are you doing what is the legacy you are leaving mr president mr mp what are you leaving this video is just for me to chat get up and stand up for your right because no one will come and fight for you let's listen to this our sister the warning she has given and also a bit of how some countries in africa can take back their resources please let's listen to her and i'll be back thank you so much everybody is benefiting from africa but children of the soil the time for the leaders flying private jets and buying homes is over let me warn you let me tell you this for free the time of flying private jets buying homes for your family spending millions of dollars taxpayers dollars accumulating wealth for your family is over let me tell you why it's over that time is over because now we are getting into a time of accountability yep everybody has a cell phone everybody that can educate themselves over. there's you can't lie anymore right now africa is aware that the west is not their friend and now they are called they have a nickname for you guys they call you guys the leaders the puppets they've recognized i don't want to call some leaders names here but and people that are not even in your country know that you are a traitor and know that you're a puppet right so that time that you are coming to come into government and come and steal that time is over because you'll be embarrassed online in the whole world <laughs> yes the time is up and i tell you she made that video a year ago or almost a year ago since I kept that video. And I've been thinking about it ever since. Hey, Kenya, bravo. Well done to Kenyans. And I hope Uganda, the rest, have called them. You know where you are. You know what is going on. Organize yourself. Because now you know that you have the power. The power is in your hands, as they say. The power is in your hands. So when you get up, with unity and peacefully and you demonstrate they will shit in their pants i didn't say that <laughs> let's listen to our sister more and i'll be back thank you so me that are going to make noise <laughs> we have people and and you need you, you need to stop the stealing because we know the people that are coming in come with their hearts for the country, come with their hearts Tell for the them. people because this is bigger than you. You are stealing from my children. You are stealing from my great grandchildren. And not just me, you are stealing from the people of African descent's children mm. and great grandchildren. So no more, no more stealing. It's time for us to empower our youth and it's time for us to genuinely be concerned about the upcoming generation. This is the Africitude movement where we bring mm. things in the dark to light where we give people a sense of pride of being of africa everybody is benefiting from africa amen <laughs> tell them wow <laughs> this is the warning to them and i hope they are listening because time has changed things are changing i'm just making this video thinking about what is going on in kenya the Sahara, as i speak about all the time and I wish that Africa youth, and not only the youth, but those who are able, can be able to deliver themselves. Because, yes, I, yes, I use the word deliver. You cannot be going to church and screaming all the time. It's terrible to go to church every Sunday and look at what he's doing to his people. You need proper deliverance. You need proper deliverance. And you can't sit down and wait. For these leaders to come and do it for you no school no hospital no proper medication what is going on in ghana now is horrible that even free medication they store it they left it at the port these are the people who think about 
you. Just imagine. Sometimes you listen and you hear things and they seek me. Please, let's listen to our sister again. The advice that she get for those who will be coming to power to inherit those debts. Because when I heard Mr. Kwesi Platt saying that 10 years, even after 10 years, those debts we cannot pay. Our sister has an idea from a friend who is a lawyer. So please, let's listen to that idea. I'll be back. Thank you so much for your time. Ghana is one of the largest producers of gold. And 98.3% of its gold ends up in the hands of multinationals. That's what's going on. And sometimes it feels like these deals that they have signed are so ironclad that there's nothing that we can do about it. So I took it upon my shoulders to ask a very prominent lawyer friend. And when I asked her, I said, so what would it take for us to get out of these deals? Her response surprised me. She said, a signature. I said, say what? She said, a signature. She said, it just takes someone who has a heart for the country and to come and say, hey, I don't like these deals and cancel everything and start afresh. Yes, that's what it takes. So it's like, why are we still doing this? Well, the 3% is benefiting someone indirectly or directly. I don't Yes, you heard that. It's just a signature. So Mr. Kwesi Pratt, you're worried. Don't worry anymore. Any new leader, if Nana Bediako comes in, he can sign it that these deals we don't want them anymore and renegotiate just like the Sahel has done it takes only a signature so don't be afraid those deals that they have signed for 10 percent my property you come and take my property and i get 10 percent and you get 90 percent it doesn't make any sense so yes it takes only a signature to get our countries back to their own um to, to benefit the people, only signature. This video is long. I'm just chatting here. I will leave you here. Thank you so much for your time. It's just an idea that is going around in my mind and I want to share. Please leave a comment because your comment also valid a lot. We are all learning from one another. Um, your countries, leave the name of your countries. We talk about them individually and we see how it goes. Enough is enough. Thank you. God bless you. My returning subscribers, my new subscribers, and those who are passing by, thank you so, so much for your time. God bless you. If you are new here, consider subscribing. I will see you soon. Bye-bye.